Hi guys, hope you're being safe at home and taking good care of yourself. I myself feel weirdly serene here because this is the place where I usually do my yoga. So am I sitting on the floor of my room? Yes, this is the exact spot where I do a Shavasana. So you can see me going into Shavasana at any point of time during this video. Just stop me, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm, why? I don't know. Like you probably would have guessed, I'm going crazy. Anyway, so today I welcome you to a very panic-inducing, abysmal look at all of my medical books during the course of four years. I've come to realize the more books you have, the more skills you acquire at shoving them in the darkest corners of the room. And trust me when I say this, when I was taking all of them out, I did not know there was so much space in my room. I think it's also important to mention that I also have some books that might be useful for those of you who might be thinking or who want to prepare for USMLE. If you think that you can manage to read Grey's Anatomy if you're in first day of medical school, you are um, kidding yourself. <laughs> I don't think I need to mention uh, anything about BD Charasya. This is the book that is going to help you in every way possible. Uh, there are three volumes of this book and this is the second volume. I cannot find other two volumes. I think the diagrams and everything are beautiful. Better than Grey's. Not better than Grace, of course. I found the other sections. I don't think it's important to you to show you guys separately all these parts, but these are the parts. The neuroanatomy book in the recent is helpful in first year. In neurology, as it turns out, is not that interesting. This is a book by A.K. Jain and I think it's a very very useful book. And I think it's, it could even be useful uh, in later years if you are looking to you know brush up your fundamentals. There are some mistakes in this book however. For pharmacology most of the people they study K.D. Tripathi but I used it as a reference. This is a board review series and this book I read in second year mostly and when it came to making notes this was more concise and more helpful. These are the two microbiology books that I used to read. Um, I know this, these are not supposed to be standard books uh, that you're supposed to read in second year, but I read these. One of these is the board review series uh, book. It's a very good book. And another is this book. Uh, <laughs> Uh, please do not laugh at it. It's a very good book. It has a very fun way of actually telling you a lot of stuff and uh, it might be useful for USMLE prep again. Ridiculously simple. <laughs> oh my god, this is embarrassing. This is this is a very good book. This is a good book is all I can say about it. Read it uh, and then you'll know why I'm vouching for it. It's not, it's not like it's microbiology for dummies. <sighs> it's not. This is an uh, ophthalmology book. This is Kurana. And this book, I think, is a um, very good ophthalm book. I think it's a good book. I hate the subject though. Alright, so this is the ENT book, uh, Dhingra. Uh, again, I'm sorry about the condition of the book. I know it's very sad. <laughs> yes, it's not supposed to look this way. I think I plan to read this book for PG prep as well. This is a good book. So this is the book that I read for PSM. Okay, to be very honest, I don't remember the name of the book. Um, I'm going to write down uh, in the notes. Park is supposed to be a very good book, it's supposed to be the standard book, but I also found this book to be very helpful. Try not to laugh, but this is Davidson. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like this. It looks like I have slaughtered the book, uh, which technically I have. Yes, so I divided the book into parts because uh, personally, that's how I do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is Harrison. This is um, first volume. Harrison. This is, this does not even begin to cover what the actual book is. It's coming, don't worry. <laughs> um, this book is basically the index book. <sighs> okay, this is, I can, I can do this. Please 
please read this book. You will love this book. <laughs> Okay, on a serious note though, people have this notion that this book is the most overwhelming book of uh, medical science. I kid you not, it is. But there are some of the things in this book that are really beautiful. If you are interested in taking medicine in future, if you are, you know, interested in doing your post-graduation in medicine, you will have to read this book and you will have to swear by it. This is Bailey. This is uh, the Holy Grail of Surgery. This is a theoretical book that you study for surgery. This is surgery's SRB. So SRB is supposed to be, uh, you know, the kind of book that you use to pass the exams. This is a big book, a very big book, but I made it small because uh, that's my way. It calms my brain <laughs> when I study this stuff. So this is the surgery. So this, this is the surgery book. This is how it looks like. In case you were wondering what the cover is, this is the uh, gynecology and obstetric. There are two books in fourth year. These two books uh, are already very famous and they are actually very good. They hold up to their hype yes it has some mistakes to be very honest i had no idea i had this book and i have not used this book so this is pediatrics book this is kai it's the theory book for pediatrics and mostly people read this book only there is another book piyush gupta people also read that all right these are the folders i made in final year um this is just one of my organizational skills at play um yes let me flex just a little bit <laughs> So this is uh, the book that I read for ortho. Again, also I read this book, Maheshwari. Uh, it's supposed to be a standard, uh, you know, book for studying ortho in fourth year. So this is the book in dermatology. This is Nina Khanna. This is again a pretty standard book for dermatology. It's again a very small subject. It's a sub subject of medicine. So these two are very important practical books when it comes to medicine so clinically these are very important and all these things you are supposed to give all the references uh, of all the figures from these two books so you might just select one of these books uh, that works best for you this is the clinical book for surgery estas and this is a very helpful book and you can see the condition of this book is not really good i'm um, sorry about that our professor used to say that you need to know this book by heart if you want to crack clinical exam in surgery so this is that important this this is a clinical book for pediatrics by N.C. Joshi. Yes, I also read Piyush Gupta, I read this too. So I read both the books. Uh, I think I can give you a clear idea of uh, both of these. This has more bullet points and less paragraphy thing. So go for either of these. Both are good. I don't like pediatrics either. This is the clinical methods in pediatrics by Piyush Gupta. This is a case discussion book in Obskaini. I think I bought this before the practical exams. This might be helpful for you if you're looking for a very quick review if you already know theory stuff then you might find it useful but i would not say that this is essential this is again the kind of book that you buy to pass the practicals in medicine but also this is helpful one thing to mention about kundu is that this has question-based theory these indian author books that you know people usually say are meant to you know pass the exams and not anything else i think they're very underrated if it's helping you it's good Clinical Cases Pediatrics. I don't even know who this is by. Raja Mahindran, um, Indian author again. So this uh, book has the clinical cases in pediatrics. If you again, this is from a viva perspective. I, I think I read it. I read some of the uh, things in this book. This might be useful for a uh, quick revision. This is a manual practical, Obskaini. This is my mom's book and it's a very old book. I don't think this will be very useful. As anyone who is preparing for USMLE might be aware, Kaplan books are very important, Kaplan notes are very important, so I have almost all of those notes. I don't think there's much to say about these, just that if you're preparing for USMLE step one or step two, these books are essential. I would not say for first year these books are super helpful. This is a pathophysiology book for boards and board. Again, this is a book for USMLE. I bought this book in second year. This is a helpful book because this has questions and some theory material as well. So this is a question book, step up book. So this has questions 
uh, USMLE style. So this is for first step basically. These are USMLE notes. These are basically my dad's notes actually. And I have not read this book to be very honest. Uh, I just have this. I think I should read this. To have so much stuff and to not make use of it is very obnoxious and bratty of me. I know that. But it's very hard to, you know... <laughs> just read all of it it's very hard to read all of it all right my friends that brings us to the end so i hope uh, you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys got an idea of uh, the books that you know might be helpful for you and uh, on that note i will see you guys next time